Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi yessir ve la tu'assir Rabbi temmim bil hayr. Oh my lord, make it easy and don't make it difficult. Oh my lord, complete it with goodness. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and welcome to the Quran learning system. This is lesson 4. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you the rule of Shatta. What's Shatta? Don't worry, you won't have to specifically memorize the name of Shatta. You will learn it by the practical system, inshallah. Remember, there are 28 letters in the Arabic alphabet and the Quran. This line represents the 28 letters. When a small W sign comes above any of 28 letters, Please note this one, it attaches to the previous letter and you have to read the second letter two times. You can understand much better with examples. This is the letter Aleph, this is the letter B. You read it A, B. Normally you read it A, B. But when a W sign comes above the letter B, it reads A, B. Normally you read it a b, but now a b. It attaches itself to the previous letter, and the second letter you have to read it two times. A b. Another example, you can do it like this: i b or u b. So easy. Let's do another example. This is alif, and this is the letter t. If you put fatha, you read it. A T. But when you put a W sign above the letter T, it reads A T. It attaches itself and the second letter you have to read it two times. A T. You can say U T. Or you can make it like this. U T. Or you can do it also like this. U T. Two times. Let's do another example. This is the letter B. B and this is letter Th. Normally you read it B, Th. But when the W, small W sign comes above the uh, Th letter, it reads B, Th. Or you can say B, Th. B, Th. Very easy. Let's give a last example for that. This is a letter Alif, the letter Alif, and this is the letter Th. If you put small W sign above the letter Th, it reads Th. Just by understanding the rule of Shatta, you have covered the lesson 4. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين